Hello, my name is Anna Mukina. I'm a theatre maker from St. Petersburg, Russia. I'm inside Akademie der Künste in Berlin, one of the oldest cultural institutions in Europe. And I would like to talk to you about how to sell yourself to the West. At first, I wrote a text called How to Sell Yourself to the West. I used myself there as an example to explore unique selling points and identity advantages like jail experience or signature haircut that could help international artists like me successfully sell our work to the West. Today we're going to explore the possibilities out there and use the Academy of Arts as an example. The Akademie der Künste is not an art school, as you might think. It is an assembly of artists based on closed membership. That means that as an artist you can't apply. You have to be invited. We are in so-called Sessel Club. Just imagine how many famous artist bots sat on these chairs. For example, exactly here in 1961, the Hermine Körner Ring Prize was presented for the very first time. Roma Bann received it as an actress striving for excellence. Hand on heart, dear fellow artist, who would not want to receive a prize? If it's not a symbol of success for us, then what is? I live and work here. I was nominated and chosen by the Performing Arts section of the Academy for their Berlin Fellowship. Pretty cool, huh? However, being here made me think. Will I be able to come back one day in this Hall of Fame? What are my real chances? as a female theatre director from evil Russia to really make it in the West. Now we are in a club realm. A lot of decisions are made inside these walls. I met with the people from the academy who sit in the rooms like this and ask them, what should I do to become famous in the West? To receive a prize? Or to become member of the academy? Or at least after my death, land in the art archive? Listen carefully, because now I'm going to share with you some inside information. First, make a name in the West. If you already have a name in a third world country like me, it doesn't count. Start from scratch, but be careful. Don't become too extraordinary. By making collective decisions, a lot of juries tend to cut the newcomers and the most extraordinary candidate and settle on someone in the middle. Create outstanding theater productions. Three, work on your signature style, whatever that means in the West. Look for the lucky encounters. Certain groups of people are just luckier than others. The luckiest name of making theater in Germany are proven to be Michael, Stefan, Thomas, Nicholas, Frank. Five, remember, nothing is too big. A big stage plus big audience equals big influence. As statistics show, female directors have had some difficulties in getting on big stages for last decade in Germany. Let's see if the new gender quotas of the biggest German festival Theatertreffen will change something for non-German directors. But the fact remains, if your work doesn't shape the art of today, ladies. It will not land in the art archive. I've asked. Luckily, alternative strategies exist. Two German actresses and members of the Academy, Hermine Kuhne and Thule Dorieux, decided to take fame in their own hands. They established their own prizes dedicated to female theater makers. The Hermine Kuhne Ring. A ring with an antique style coin. Possibly established as a female alternative to the legendary Eiffland ring. This is the Tila Durieu jewelry, 70,000 euros worth. Every 10 years, another actress is honored by it, chosen by its previous owner. So maybe here comes the main secret of success. Don't wait for the price. Establish your own. 
And that is exactly what I intend to do. I put my Berlin Fellowship money into establishing the Adamukina Award. It stands for excellence in acceptance, openness, compassion, care, night panic attacks, crying backstage, self-criticism, eternal dissatisfaction, feeling lonely, feeling misunderstood, feeling overlooked, lost families, lost relationships, lost friendships, lost home, fear of the future, fear of speaking up, fear of rejection after you've spoken up, fear of never having a family, fear of having kids, fear of being a bad mother, for refusing of being small and invisible, for refusing of being taken advantage of, for refusing being spoken down to, for self-advocacy, self-identification and self-celebration. I declare the Ada Mukina Award the most prestigious and the most important prize in the performing arts industry of the world. And the Ada Mukina Award today for the very first time goes to Adamukina! Finally! I want to thank me. I want to thank me for believing in me. I want to thank me for doing all this work. I want to thank me for never quitting. I want to thank me for doing right and for doing wrong. I want to thank me for trying to be me at all times. Let us all establish the prices in our own names. What will your price stand for?